going to subscribe to my channel, hit like, comment, and the notification button. Don't forget to share. Okay, YouTube. I am about to get ready to go to bed. I mean, today is not late, but I've been up ever since 4 o'clock this morning. But anyway, I want to do a video. This is going to be real short. Um, Lisa, I'm trying to make it short. I was listening to Vila when she was doing um when her seafood boil thing when she had on the little white beautiful shirt. Beautiful with the little fire. This beautiful queen. And I wasn't gonna say big, so I'm gonna get it twisted because I never address a woman as a big, not that big, but beautiful, of course. But this queen was in on her channel spilling all the tea how you could become a better youtube this lady have motivated me so freaking much tonight to i'm about to get ready to go hard some stuff she said made so much sense that i didn't look at it like that but i'm like whoa you know she like she said google have billions and billions and billions of dollars and we can get out there and get it. Like she said, we just have to get up off our ass and get out there and get it. And I'm going to be with that one that do not stop. I don't have that many subscribers. I have a little few, few views, which that's fine with me. Because let me tell you something. The world wasn't built in one day. So, like she said, it may take a year, it may take two years, but in between that time, I am going to be, like, working, you know, doing other stuff. Because, like, in my other video, if you go and check out that video, you'll see me was talking about doing uh, hats and scarves for the winter, before winter come in this year. And I want to do a lot of hats and scarves, and I gave it a name already, you know, what I want to do. And... That's what I'm going to do. Um, and when I start doing that, I will be doing videos on um, me sewing. I mean, not sewing, but knitting. Because it's going to take me a long time to do all this knitting, hats and scarves. Because I want to do at least a hundred or more. So y'all stay on my channel and go and subscribe. Continue to follow me as I get ready to do this and wish me the best. Pray for me because I need it and I will be praying for you as well. I always pray for everybody. And this is something that I'll, this is my, um, my little handkerchief that, um, Mr. Ernest gave me. And I want to say thank you, Mr. Ernest. He's not a YouTube follower or anything because he's about in his 70s, so. And age don't have nothing to do with it, but he don't get into stuff like that. But he gave me his handkerchief, and I sleep with it. I wear it all day long when I'm going out to places, going shopping, or wherever I'm going. Once I step out this door, I always have this on. It be up under my clothes, or sometimes I just tag it along a jack or something like that. And um, I wear it to bed. I wear this to bed, so it's my prayer cloth. So with that being said, I'm always praying for everybody. I pray for the. The whole entire globe. The whole entire world. I even pray for Trump. Y'all know. That's not a hard prayer. But oof, that'd be a special prayer. When it comes to um, Donald Trump. And I don't hate this. I don't hate this man for what he's doing. It's because. That's God's child. And. He gonna have to deal with God. On whatever he got going on or whatever he's doing. Not me. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get it to heaven on a clean slate. But I pray for everybody. So with that being said, I don't miss out on nobody. I pray for everybody. But y'all, let's get out here. And I said y'all because I'm from the country. My my town is Warner Robins, Georgia. And if y'all go check out the Kansas City Y'all looked at the Super Bowl, Kansas City, how they beat the 49ers. Number 11, he's from um, my hometown, and number 22, 
He's from my hometown. They from Georgia. But number 11 is from Fort Valley State College. I mean, from Fort Valley State. Fort Valley, Georgia. Yeah, I'm going to get it right. Number 22, he's from Warner Robins, Georgia. And you'll see me in my other video I had on my little jersey, my Cincinnati Bingo jersey. My uncle played for the Cincinnati Bingo, and he's from Warner Robins as well. So we got a, quite a few athletes that came from Warner Robins, Georgia, and Macon, Georgia, and Fort Valley, Georgia. You get what I'm saying? But y'all go subscribe to my channel, hit like, comment, notification button, and don't forget to share. But I do need you guys to... Just go by and check out some of my videos. I have another YouTube channel, and it's um me and my husband, but it's just my name on it, Burnett Collins. You'll see Burnett Collins on there, and maybe family and Navy. Cause he was in the Navy for 16 years, not on a boat, on a ship, like um six foot, six inch, six whatever football field. And he lived there. That was his home, but I wasn't married to him at the time, but... Anyway, like I said, P. Love had some good information on her channel. And yes, I know half of YouTube probably already subscribed to her channel as well as myself. But this lady, and I want to say if anybody looking at this channel, my channel, and know her, tell her I said thank you. And if she go to my channel, Miss B. Love, I want to say thank you, sister. Thank you for sharing that information because it is really, really hard to get um, YouTube um, subscribe. I mean, YouTube people to come on here and give you information. <sighs> I'm going to say this and don't y'all take this the wrong way. Okay, please. But you got more white people share information about YouTube than our own people. You got CJ So Cool. He have a lot of followers. He don't take time out to tell nobody anything. You got Funny Mike. He don't take time out to say anything. Um, Jessica, I'm not going to include her because she's a child. But Mama Red, she can, she's on that channel. She can talk. Um, who else? Um, Jay Well, he can talk. Lynn Spear, she can talk. So you have so many out there. You got Mama Jones, she can, she can say some things. You know, y'all people out there. Some of you may be learning, like Mama Jones. She did say she was still learning. You know, so. But a lot of you people out there, there's more experience in it and know the game. You guys can share. Sharing is caring. And you guys don't keep it all for yourself. You know, but my props go to be love, kisses, love, and salute. And I thank you. I really, really thank you. So with that being said, I'm going ahead and finish her video up. I just want to come on here and say this. And after I get done with the video, then I'm going to read my book. Because I supposed to read it last night, but I'm so sleepy. But I'm not so sleepy tonight. So they give me some time to have to read this book. And I'm going to share this book with you guys as well. So give me a second. Let me go grab it. This book here, How to Pray. Let me get it. Let me let me get, let you get a good view of it. Get it out of my face. This book is so awesome. This book, it not only teach you how to pray, but it breaks it down and tell you why you should pray. In it, like our oh, father, it breaks that part down. Man, you guys just don't understand. This book is it's off the chain. It's off the chain. I, I promise you. Beginning prayer with a God like the loving you, the God loving you. You can pray very simple. You don't have to ask for all that stuff. Cause God already know that. You want this stuff. God know that you want a house. God know you want a car. God know you want a job. You can pray for those things, but you don't have to because God already know these things. So it tells you that in this book, beginning prayer, old model prayer, asking and receiving. That's one of them. That's chapter four on um, praise and worship. Worshiping. 
when we don't receive it, when you don't receive that, that blessing, I mean, when you don't receive um, what you're asking for, it tells you how to handle the situation when you ask for a blessing and you never receive it when you want it right then. Because myself, I'm going through that. I'm praying for some things that's not coming soon as I want it to, but it's going to come. But you can't rush, God. You get what I'm saying? So it t it you know it tells you how to deal with you know not receiving your um not receiving what you ask for God when are you on uh, a dipper when you engage in spiritual welfare it, prayer praying continually meditate in prayer vow in prayer it's just a lot of stuff praying in spirit transfer power in prayer and I'm gonna tell you guys where you can get this book from Amazon fourteen dollars. Amazon not promoting me. Amazon didn't even ask me to do this. But Amazon have it for $14 if you would like to get it. And you would you would love to get it. I mean, hmm. I even mark some stuff, you know. And when I get done reading this book, I'll tell you something. When I get this book so good, when I get finished reading it, go back and read it again. Because I read it and I got some understanding of it. But I want to get a great understanding. I got good understanding, but I want the best, the great understanding of it. So I can know about God. You know what I'm saying? Yes, giving us this day our daily bread. Of course, when God, when we ask God for bread, we mean something more than just a white stuff with the wonder label on it. See? Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Of course, God. Give us bread, but not the bread that come out the, the loaf. Not that bread. Come on now, y'all. At the wonder level, when we ask for our daily bread, we could be asking God for a job or for a car to drive us to work or for money to pay our bills or even personal healing. Y'all better get this book. And Jay Well would say, get this book. Jesus used the word bread because hunger is based to all of our needs. God give us an appetite or hunger so that we will eat in order to gain strength. Did you hear me? Hey, I'm not going to be on here long. I'm not going to be on here. God give us an appetite. He give us an appetite, you guys. Or oh, hungry, but he give us an appetite so that we can eat in order to gain our strength. Jesus Christ. If we don't eat food, we cannot work, take care of our children, or do any of the other things that we enjoy each day. Food is like a basic that we cannot do anything without. We can't do without food. God knows we can't. So when we pray for our daily bread, we ask God to sample the basic elements of life. And we recognize our complete dependence upon him and supply those needs. Okay, y'all. I'm done. I'm about to get off of y'all. I said I'm going to be on here long because I get to read this book to y'all. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. We're going to subscribe to the Chicks channel. It's going to get better. It's going to take some time. Because I pray on it. And it's just like bread. That's all I got to say. But like I said, I have an ASMR channel also. It's the Queen of the South. Um, Burnett Perkins. And I really haven't been doing it too many ASMR channel. You know, food things on there. But go and check it out. Before I forget, go to my channel, Burnett Perkins. I'm going to be cooking tomorrow while he goes to his dentist appointment again. And I was thinking about going because I need to make me a dental appointment, get my teeth clean, and start working on this here and that and that. Because I'm tired when I talk. You see this gap. I'm sick and tired of it. I am tired. But anyway, I'm cooking tomorrow. I don't prepped up every. I don't wash everything. I don't cut up my meat. I don't wash my vegetables. I cook my carrots and my corn. And it's going to be with that little foil meal, which you pack everything in. I just got to make, make me some seasoning. <sighs> I don't know what kind of seasoning I'm going to make, but I'm planning on trying to um, do my own personal seasoning, like Lee Little did. I'm trying to come up with my own season. So when I get through reading this book, I'm going to go and write down some ingredients and stuff.
So I'm messing around some seasoning tomorrow by six o'clock in the morning. And try to come up with my own recipe and my own seasoning. But, excuse me, but I'm about to get out of here. Just wanted to share that. And I'm about to go and finish looking at what Lilo have to say. Because I can get some pointers. And I was going to put my video in the bedroom, but the light was so dim. And this light ain't even no better. But, like she said, you need light. And the lights in my house are very dim. But I do have a light that I did purchase off Amazon. You know? But I need to purchase me a bigger one. So that'll be coming up. Mm -hmm. I'll probably get that in April or May sometime. Sometime. Get me a bigger light. And get me a background. Because I may start doing my video, you know, in this bathroom. Because it's so small. And put me a background up. And just do my video. But I got to bring up my lights in here, though. So, I want to say, peace. Y'all have a good night. Be blessed. Don't forget to pray. Don't forget this book. Peace.